What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video on the map to veganism with the Super Bowl around the corner. Uh, we decided to make vegan appetizers. Starting off here with a vegan pizza, uh, vegan nachos, vegan jalapeno poppers, uh, vegan homemade pretzels with the homemade cheese sauce, uh, paired with an avid cider. So we're gonna start off by making our homemade pretzels and we're gonna do that by adding four cups of flour, quarter cup of coconut sugar, one and a half teaspoons of salt, one package of instant yeast, and one and a half cups of warm water. And then go ahead and mix that together to form a ball of dough. So once you form your dough into a ball, we're gonna set that aside and grease the bowl. I'm using coconut oil. And then we're gonna go ahead and set that back in the bowl, cover it with a towel and set it aside to let it rise for 30 minutes. For the cheese sauce, for the pretzels, we're gonna start off by using a one 15 ounce can of butter beans, one cup of plant milk, I'm using oat milk, half a cup of nutritional yeast, two tablespoons of oat flour, quarter cup of vegan butter, half a teaspoon of lemon juice. And for the spices, we have chili powder, cumin, garlic powder, paprika, turmeric, cayenne, and onion powder. And make sure you check out the recipe for the measurements. And then blend it on high for about five minutes and then uh, make sure you heat it up, serve warm. Next, we're gonna preheat the oven to 450 degrees. And then we're gonna bring four cups of water to a boil. And then once that comes to a boil, we're gonna pour it into a bowl and add six tablespoons of baking soda. And then we're gonna let that cool down and come to a safe temperature that's warm enough to put our hands in for the pretzels. And in the meanwhile, we're gonna prepare the dough for the pretzels. So once your dough is ready, you're just gonna uh, slice a little piece off the side of it and then stretch it out, roll it out, wanted to get out to at least a couple feet and then fold it up into a U, bring one end down and then the other and then cross them over once and then fold it back into itself. So once your water is boiled you're going to add six tablespoons of baking soda and then let it cool down and pour it in another bowl. We're going to grab our pretzels and dip them in the water bring them out, dab them on a paper towel, and then set them on your baking dish. Once your pretzels are done, uh, you can either use a brush or your finger, uh, melt some butter, and then just start coating them. And then go ahead and top with your coarse sea salt. Next up, we're making vegan jalapeno poppers. And making sure we're getting everything out, all the seeds and stems. So go ahead and get the seeds and stems out. You can keep the seeds if you want it extra spicy. So for the filling for the jalapeno poppers, we're gonna do one and a half cups of vegan cream cheese. And then we're gonna add two teaspoons of garlic powder and salt and pepper to taste. Mix that as best you can. Next, we're gonna cut up some green onions. Next, we're also gonna dice up some vegan bacon. 
uh, really finely to add to the mixture. And we're using Sweet Earth Benevolent Bacon. Next, we're just gonna go ahead and put a little bit of the filling into the jalapeno. And then next, we're just gonna top with a little bit of breadcrumbs. And then we're gonna go ahead and bake them for 20 minutes at 400 degrees. Next up, we're gonna be making a vegan pizza. Um, I found this already pre-made dough at Trader Joe's, or you can make your own dough, or use the recipe we just made to make the pretzels. And spread with a thin layer of red sauce. Next, we're gonna cover with vegan mozzarella. Also got this at Trader Joe's. Then we're gonna add a little bit of garlic powder and dried basil. Cover with your favorite toppings. Got mushrooms, onions, some vegan sausage, and some olives. And then go ahead and bake it at 475 degrees for about 15 minutes. We're also gonna be doing nachos, super easy. We're going to be using the same cheese we used for the pretzels for the nachos. We're also going to be doing some ground, plant-based ground beef. And some black beans. Then some tomatoes, some green onions, cilantro, olives. And topped with some guac. All right, and that wraps up today's video of the Super Bowl appetizers. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I would love to see how yours turn out. Please let me know in the comments below, or also let me know if you have any questions. You guys have a great Super Bowl, and I hope that you can um, enjoy it and celebrate it just like you would normally with these vegan appetizers. Let me know what your friends and family think. Don't tell them it's vegan and let them uh, see if they can tell themselves. But that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And as always, peace and plants.